Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here. Good to see you, Anomaly. Today we're going to look at five different variations of the low roundhouse kick. When you think of Muay Thai, you think of those leg kicks. So we're going to show you actually five different ways to throw it, whether you're looking for power or speed. Let's take a look. Okay, so now we're going to look at these round kicks, and I want you to think, what's the purpose of your kick? Are you going to just try to do damage? Are you trying to knock them off balance? Are you going for speed? So let's take a look at a couple different variations. The first one is going to be the most traditional style, and it's that, that Muay Thai style roundhouse kick. And you can picture it like I'm taking an axe and I'm trying to chop into Vince's leg. So it is going to come on a down trajectory, and it looks like this in full. Oh. Okay, I'm trying to do damage. I'm trying to really sink my shin into his quadricep muscle. The best place to aim is you can see right where the quadricep ends. That's where the tendon connects. If we hit that spot over and over again, we can do a lot of damage. Then he can't put pressure on his leg. He's not going to be able to move. So let's break down how to actually throw this kick. First thing I'm going to do is take a cheat step with this lead foot. That's going to start to stretch my hips and naturally my body wants to do this. So now I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to aim with my knee. I'm going to swing my arm. So the way I like to teach it is I take my hand reach to the opposite shoulder, and then I fling the sweat in Vince's face. All right, so I reach that hand across. As I extend my leg, I get more speed, boom, by really extending my arm at the same time, okay? So coming on that down trajectory, really trying to dig my shin bone right into that quadricep muscle, okay? So that's the most common one that you're gonna see. The next one is more commonly used by Dutch fighters, and it's more so for speed. And the reason why they like doing this one is because they set it up with the hands. They box more, uh, the Dutch guys, than they do in Muay Thai. So what we're going to do is going to be much less of a pivot. Sometimes there's no pivot at all. All right. So it's going to look like this. Let's say we set it up with uh, a jab cross. Jab cross. I go here and I can come right back. So you can see it's a much quicker kick and it almost comes up. Right. So I go here and then I can come right back into my punches. So the first one is coming down. So maybe I set it up, get him heavy with what the CSA guys call a slap shot. They literally slap here, I get him heavy on that foot, and then I kick down. Whereas the second one here is gonna come up. So it's jab, cross, up, and then I come right back to my boxing. So you can see the difference in styles there. The third one now is gonna be striking to the inside of the leg with an inside leg kick. And the easiest way to close off the distance and get there is with a pendulum step. So I'm gonna replace my lead foot with my rear by shuffling in. I protect my face and I trap his arm and even push him into the kick with my lead arm. So if he comes with a right hand at the same time, my jaw, my jaw is protected, right? I got my shoulder up high. So again, I shuffle in, boom, and then I can shuffle right back into that position. And it's funny, I've read comments online where people say this is an ineffective kick. Make a hammer fist and smash the inside of your thigh. It's one of the most sensitive areas on the body. It hurts a lot. And then you can set up other shots with that, like an overhand right. So I can initiate with this inside leg kick, boom. Randy Couture dropped in Silva, Sylvia, I always forget, Sylvia, Sylvia. I think, <laughs> uh, with that overhand right there. So it's a great setup shot uh, just to create a nuisance or to do damage. The next one now is very similar to that, except we're not going to go to the thigh, we're going to go to the calf muscle, and we can scoop that leg out. So a lot of Muay Thai fighters like um, Kevin Ross, Ogden Topic, Liam Harrison, these guys use this one a lot. And it's not so much to do damage, it's to, it's to widen Vince's base and make him heavy. So what I'm aiming to do is to scoop this leg up and out and see how that's going to widen his base, gets him off balance. From here, I can follow up with elbows, I can shuffle, I can throw a knee. It's hard to time this one. Everyone always says, try to get it when they're stepping in on the jab, right? Well, it's kind of hard to actually time that perfectly and I may get hit with the jab. Instead, what Kevin Ross teaches is jab, cross, jab and post out with that last jab. So I go jab, cross, jab and I'm literally pushing him onto his rear leg. Weight's on that rear foot, so this one's going to be light. It's easier for me to hit it. So I'm hooking my foot, and I'm kicking upwards to scoop that leg out a little bit. And then from here, like I said, it could be a shuffle knee. If he's back a little bit, it could be a kick. I can step in with the elbow. So that scoop works really well. And then the last one is going to be a calf kick to the outside. Vince has an entire video on fight tips with this one, so make sure you check that one out. I'm not going to go too much into detail, but another one that Kevin Ross just taught at the super seminars was get him on the outside, hooking your foot, and I can even sweep him, right, from this angle here. See, very, very offsetting. Um, even just that one foot, I don't have to take both legs out. So if I can get to the outside, that's great. What I like to do is go cross, fake the jab, get out here. I get that angle. I can just smash the calf. Vince just used this in his last fight a lot, did a lot of damage. You can shut that leg down. Or if we hook the foot, like I said, I can scoop that leg up, knock him off balance, looks good in the judge's eyes or we can knock them down to the ground. Now, are you pushing them over with that lead hand as well? Yeah, absolutely. Use that. Uh, legs going one way, hand is pushing the other way, so we get that scissor motion. Yeah, to knock them down. Good question, Vince. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. So again, it depends on the trajectory of the kick. It depends what the function is. What are you aiming to do? So here are a couple different variations that you can practice. Give it a try in your sparring. Until next time, I'm Shane. Didn't see anomaly. Fight tips for the underdogs.